to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position S on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position P on the green scale. Now collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. We will need the wrist shoulder adapter, elbow stabilizer pad, and the lumbar cushion may be needed for comfort. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to 35 degrees on the black scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 15. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 85 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 45 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 5 degrees on the green scale, whilst also adjusting the height to position 9. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail, by pressing the kickboard, and sliding the chair to position 75. Install the elbow stabilizer pad onto the short end of the input arm first. Line up the screw with the groove and insert. Secure with the locking screw. Then install the wrist shoulder adapter into the long end of the input arm. Ensure the handle faces away from the dynamometer face. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Move the handle to position 109. Finally. Place the lumbar cushion onto the chair if required. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to sit on the chair. Adjust the chair back translation for comfort. Place the elbow into the stabilizer. Then adjust the dynamometer height, to ensure the shoulder is in a neutral position, that means, not elevated or depressed. Now adjust the scapular angle. The neutral scapular position is 20 degrees protraction. This can be adjusted by rotating either the dynamometer or the chair. Now position the hand grip. Loosen the screw and slide to a comfortable position for the subject. Secure using the screw. Before beginning the test secure the forearm strap to hold the elbow into the stabilizer. Now check the axis of rotation. Finally attach the shoulder straps if required. To use the chest straps first place both arms through the loops.
Then clip the straps together using the clasp. Tighten the upper straps until the waist sections are above belt level. Now tighten the waist straps keeping the clasp centrally on the waist. The test is ready to begin.